exciting superstars. So guys, what we're gonna show you in this episode is just the next part from the part one series. So part one, we showed how we were gonna to prepare to do the hack. This one, part two, we're actually gonna show you in the hack. We even have in the moment a few little um, bloopers, or not bloopers, um, mistakes that my friend Ash makes when she's leading the horse. And it's really good for you to see those things because she's learning too, just like you guys are. So you get to see that mistake and see how to solve it. Okay, I really hope you enjoy it and I can't wait for you to see how amazing our little Mowgli did. Okay guys, so this part two episode's actually fallen on really, really good times because this is actually a hack after he's had a very vigorous workout in the arena. So when they've had a vigorous workout in the arena, you really want to make sure that they get time to get their heartbeat back to normal and that they go to bed without huffing and puffing, without being completely sweaty. So he's walked around the arena for a little bit to calm down a little. And now I take him out for a hack to say to him, hey, yeah, that was hard in the arena, but we also now have some outside things to do as well, okay? While we're out here, remember that we did the preparation. So we planned our trip. We planned what we we're going to do. We planned how we were going to do it and made sure that all the obstacles that could be in our way weren't in our way. So remember that as we go. And on this little track, I suppose you could call it, I'm going to show you exactly how to look after your little guys and how to ask your leader or the person who's leading you to help you help look after you and even potentially use someone who doesn't have a huge amount of experience. I've used my friend Ash rather than my senior groom. I pop my senior groom behind the camera and use my girlfriend Ash because she's not that experienced with this and it's really great for you to be able to see how to work with someone who can help you that maybe not be completely experienced as well because in reality that is actually what's going to happen. So we do that and this is all about cooling him down, getting him used to hacking and also teaching him just a little bit of manners and a little bit of patience in a really nice positive way. So I hope you enjoy it guys. All right, if you back up there, Toby, we're going to come out. So we're going to go out and then through the double gate. So you can just film us from behind for the moment, Toby. Oh. And you can see he's like, oh, I've never walked on this before, guys, even though he walks on it 8 million times a day. Good boy. And the key is to not stop. So we've cleared everything as we discussed. This is a slippery bit downhill. So I let him find his feet, but I try not to let him stop. And you'll see that I just ignore him. So we'll walk a bit slow. If you go in front of us now, um, Toby, just keep filming. And you just go in front of us. That's it. Perfect. Super. And then we'll just keep walking. And again, you see that all the obstacles, etc., they're valid. They're there. You're not going to run into anything, Toby. You're good. They're valid. They're there. But we just ignore it. Okay? You can see Ash. She's not doing much at all. She's just there to save us. She's just there that if he decides to all of a sudden get a fright and bugger off, she knows what to do. And it's to turn him. Okay? And you can see Ash is not particularly confident in it. Thus, she didn't really want to do this on the screen. But I was able to just guide her. So you can do that with anybody. As long as they're not afraid of the horse, you can guide them. And all of a sudden, how much calmer do you feel? How much calmer do you feel about riding your horse in an open space? I feel pretty calm. Do you feel pretty calm, Ash? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And oh, now we're going to walk in the gravel. So we'll try and move him out of that. Perfect. And you see now the sweat is starting to subside. Yeah? He's starting to relax. So what it does is it shows him that when you ride, <laughs> Toby's doing the best. I'm laughing because Toby's like backing up. This is the first time he's ever had to film me. <laughs> and you'll see that this guy here, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting being put off by Toby. It's awesome. Don't edit this error at the end of Jeremiah. People will love it. <laughs> Won't you guys? <laughs> Proper raw. So we keep going up the hill and you'll see that he's relaxing because he's just like, you know what guys? I'm really happy that I'm just enjoying it. So you can stay here, Toby, in the corner and just watch us as we go past you. Because otherwise, poor Toby's going to end up. Hey guys, that we're just relaxing. We're keeping it calm. We're cool. But if we happen to be riding now by ourselves, I'd be worried about if he's going to take the bridle away from me, you know, all those sorts of things. And we don't want it to be like that. We want it to be calm. If it is going well like this and you think, oh, this is good, have a bit of fun. Play with Ash. Pat her on the head. Hey, Ashy. Wait, we even take my mic off. Let Ash say something. Say hi to the group, Ash. Hi, 
Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a bit of fun with it, guys. But if you were just by yourself on this horse, that you you know haven't taken out before that you've seen bronc on the lunge you may not have that relaxed attitude to this scenario but it, so it helps everybody and as i said to you before i'm a grand prix rider hey 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 good boy i ride crazies but i don't i'm not proud to let ash take lead me at all there we go okay ash you want to turn around so go towards you towards that way that's it yeah perfect Perfect. So you see again how I just communicate with my leader. My leader being, I'm the leader, you're the leader, leady, the, the person with the lead, there we go. <laughs> I communicate with the person with the lead as to what to do, okay? I'm gonna put Ashy on the speaker for a second. Give me two minutes if you stop Ashy. So I'm just gonna put Ash on for a second. And Ashy, can you just talk a little bit about your experiences as to how some bad things that have happened to you on hacks before and why maybe you wouldn't have asked to be led in the past? Um, on hacks before, I've had horses kind of spinning around and spooking, um, also kind of getting stuck out on a hack. So just all four feet planted in the ground, feeling like there is nowhere else to go. Um, and yeah, it would have been good to have someone on the ground, but I guess sometimes you're a bit overconfident. You feel like, you know, I'm a good rider. I should be able to handle this. I can take care of my own, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely having someone on the ground would be very beneficial and give you that bit of extra confidence, that reassurance that you can, you know, get through it and get through it safely. Yeah. And I think that's exactly right, guys. It shouldn't be that you, woo, it shouldn't be that you think to yourself, I should be able to do this, so I'm going to. That's how you get hurt. And that's how the horses get hurt as well. It doesn't matter if you should be able to, it's just a matter of, we'll stop here for a sec. It's just about whether you can, okay? So because he's doing so well, we have a little stop and just a hang out as well. Um, but the point is, is don't let peer pressure get you, yeah? Don't let, hey, 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 hey. Don't let your ego get to you. Just be smart about it. What's the downside of being led for the first time? Uh, nothing other than, come on for a walk. So now we turn towards you, sweetie. That's it. So when he gets, like, turn now, go forward, go forward, go forward. Whoop, that's right. Just got a little bit of miscommunication there. That's it, super. But again, you see, if you just stay calm and talk to your person with the lead, you're okay. Okay, turn him back again. He hates flies, our Mr. Lope Mowgli. It's very, very upset very, very quickly. Very, very good. And then we stop again. So now you know what to do if you turn. So if you get a problem, you just turn and then go out of it, okay? So the turn is to stop the engagement of the buggering off. So now turn and then forward. Turn and then forward. Yeah, you saw that? Do you see that, guys? Do you see how that process stops the annoyance? And then you can help me turn him again. So you come toward you and then forward, toward you and then forward, toward you and then forward. Super. And then we stop again until he starts to get annoyed. And that might only be for an eighth of a step. And give him a second, see if he does it one more time. But he, now he's a bit happier. Good boy. Oh, good boy, you can handle it. Okay, now turn him. So turn and forward. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. So you see, we teach him to have a little bit of patience. But because it's out here, he gets to enjoy life a little bit. We'll turn again towards Toby. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. Very good. And so you see, we're training this little guy now to have some patience. And yeah, there's flies, but guess what? They're on me, they're on Toby, they're on, they're on Ash, they're on all of us and we're not chucking a tantrum. So he has to deal with it. And then we halt again, give him a moment. And then we walk forward immediately so that he, so that he, he wins because we don't want to get off him soon. So we want him to have a win. We stop again. Hi everyone. We take a deep breath. Oh, that's a pretty deep breath. And then we go again. And you see, by correcting him as we went and then letting him have a win, he's happier. Look how much happier he is. We stop again. Well, he's getting a bit annoyed, but so I give him a chance to do the right thing. Turn now, turn and forward. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. Up the hill a little bit. Turn again, Ashy. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. Turn and forward. Stop again. You just try again and you just repeat. If he does the same thing again, you just repeat, turn and forward, turn and forward. So you see how Ash then went backward? Yeah, that's the wrong thing to do. 
You've got to take control, turn and forward, turn and forward, that's it. So that was good for you to see because Ash reacted to him a little bit and went backward. You've got to lead him a bit. So you always go turn and forward. Hole again. Aha, it gave in. How good's that? And what did I do? Just the same thing, eight million times. That's all dressage riding is all about, is just doing that same thing all the time. Is it valid what he's carrying on about? Mm. Sure it is. They're, they're flies and they're biting us. But as I said, they're biting all of us. So I sit here, he's doing a good job. We do one more time, turn and forward. And the next time we're gonna stop and I'm gonna get off him. Turn and forward again, turn and forward. And with that mistake that Ashie did, Ashie doing a great job guys, I didn't mean to like have a go at you Ash, but it shows you where you can become and hold not safe if you let their reactions take over. The head's okay, I don't mind that, because I'm doing it too, look at me. What a genius. Then, because he's done amazing job, off I get. But still, he has to stand. Yay, Mowgli, yay! <laughs> so you see, it's just about, oh wait, wait, we've got to reward the other one too. Yay, <laughs> Ashy, yay! <laughs> so you see, guys, it's just about persistence. They're just annoying two-year-olds. They are, they're just like my little kid. You say the same things, you blue in the face, and then all of a sudden they go, okay. That's what they're like. So don't get upset. Don't get angry with them. Just repeat, 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 and let them win. Give them an opportunity to win. Give them the opportunity to go, oh, I'm a legend, versus beating them into submission and then staying still because they're too scared to move. Okay, hey, too much. And just like your little kids, they can play around because they're babies, but there is a line, and that was his line. And you see, he's had a great Right, it could have been a tragedy. He was basically not broken in the indoor for the first five minutes and then he was doing leg yields like a, like a pro. He came out here and nearly ran over Ash. <laughs> and then at the end, he's just standing here like a pro. And if you just keep this consistency, good boy. If you just keep this consistency and just keep going with the same message over and over and over, they just come to the party. And you go to a comp and everyone else's horses is flying through the air like crazy horses because some fireworks went off. And these guys are like, that's nothing. I chased a pigeon out of my indoor yesterday. <laughs> and they just don't care. It's just consistency. It's just the same message every single day. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I really hope that this ring rang home for you exactly what we're doing. And I can't wait to share, with this, to share this with you next week, which is going to be the canter and the indoor. It's amazing, okay? Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The subscriptions are what make the channel grow, and I really need your help with that. As soon as I hit a million, I might even drop it to 700 if you guys have, make it happen soon, I will pay someone for an entire year to just play like this. I'm going to pay you mortgage, as long as you don't have a mansion, you know, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pay you a basic wage for a year and give you a pre St. George horse and pay someone to teach you in your country so that you can do this, you can really learn about your passion. All I need from you is a subscription. So if you can make that happen, I will make that happen for some, one of my beautiful, beautiful followers. I can't wait to see you next week, guys. Mwah! Bye.